Hey guys, this is me. And I'm talking about this kind of shit. Now, remember how all those rumors about the Pro? Well, it seems like that may not be happening because Nintendo announced the OLED model. Now, the OLED model is just slightly different. It's got some. I'm not going to say exactly minor because they're not exactly minor, but it's got some improvements, not major, major. Like it still has the same video card in there, I believe, but some improvements. Now, I'm not going to mention every upgrade. You guys can check the video and the article in the link below if you want to know more. But some of the upgrades are better sound, a better stand, which in my opinion is a much welcomed improvement. And a slightly bigger screen. Apparently, it's also an OLED screen. So, it's probably going to look a lot... Um, so, games on this handheld are probably going to look better than games on the regular Switch. Now, on the TV, they should look the same because the video card, I think, is the same inside. But when you're playing in handheld, I guess they should look better because of the OLED screen. Also, improved audio and 64 gigabytes of memory now instead of 32. So, some improvements, right? And... I know that some people may have been more looking forward more so to the Pro, but I think this is the system that makes more sense because it's just some improvements, but it doesn't separate. Like, I believe I've talked about this before. If they made a Switch Pro, I just don't think Nintendo would be able to do like what Xbox One and PS4 did where the game still came out for both the base models and for the upgraded models. So I think this is the way to go, especially if you're a person who plays your Switch more on the go than on the TV. Personally, I play mine mostly on the TV, so... I don't think this new one I'm going to buy. At least, at this point, I don't think I'm going to buy it. But if you're a person who plays the Switch mostly on the go, this may be the Switch for you because the screen is probably going to make the games look a lot better. And also, the more memory and the better sound quality and definitely that better kickstand. And I think that makes sense because I think that at this point in the Switch's lifetime, it probably, at best, only has about two years left. So I think that they need to just focus on the next console. They don't need to bring out any pro version of the Switch. Just put all that energy and resources and whatever into the next console. This new new Switch, I don't know. It may work because people who play it on the go may trade in their old Switch for the new one because if you play it on the go, this is probably more enjoyable. So I really think this was the better route to go rather than making a Switch Pro. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they should have gone with the Switch Pro route? Or do you guys agree with me that if they made an upgrade, this is the way to go. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And God bless you all.